Hello everyone. We will continue that topic. How to display that data of more than 128 characters in ALV for a particular column. And as a part of that, we binded the employee ID and feedback with the screen field. So you can see screen elements. Now, these buttons are not working. So it is totally your wish. You can simply write the directly write the logic in the PAI or one option. You can create your own GUI status and then you can write the logic in PAI. Suppose I will create my own GUI status and then on that button, I will write the logic in the PAI. Suppose if I will go for this particular program. This is our program. Now, where we will write the logic to create our own GUI status. Suppose if I will simply run this program. I will give the input. Whenever I will click on to this hyperlink or hotspot, screen will come. Whenever screen will come, I want the button to be there. So it means we will write the logic to create the GUI status in the PBO because I will write the logic in PBO. PBO will call before displaying the screen. So firstly, it will simply call the logic for GUI status and then my screen will come. So my button will be there. Whenever I will perform the action onto that button, then I will write the logic in the PAI. So firstly, we will go for our PBO of 100 screen. This is our process before output of 100 screen. This is our process before output event. This is the module, which is the part of PBO. And you already have a statement. You can simply uncomment. You all know you can create your own GUI status through set PF status statement. Suppose I will simply give the name to the PF status. Suppose I will give EMP. You can give any name is totally your wish, but put in capital. I will double click. It is asking, do you want to create GUI status? Yes, I want to create. Now I will simply, simply go for yes. I will give the short description. Suppose I will say employee GUI status. I will go for OK. Now I will create the button in the application toolbar. Suppose I will give cancel. You all know this is very important because it will act as a function code of that button. I will go for OK. This will act as a function code. Now I will choose same to same function text. Now I will choose the relevant icon. Icon means symbolic image. Cancel. I will go for this. I will give the information to go back to the previous screen. I will go for OK. I will take some shortcut. Now I will go for OK. I will simply, simply activate. I will activate the full program. Now I will go for back button. Now if I will simply, simply run the program and show you is our button is coming or not. This is our program. Now you can see our button is coming. Whenever we will click here, PBO will call. And you can see now SAP GUI status is not there. 
our GUI status is there and everything is coming. This is our symbolic image. This is the information text. We gave the shortcut shift plus F1. Whenever I will click on to this button, I need to go back to the previous screen. And you all know very, very well, we put so much stress in module pool topic, in case studies also, and so many topics. Whenever you want to go back to the previous tagged screen, what you can write, you can always write leave to screen zero. So just see how it will work. Whenever we will click on to this particular button, which event will call PAI. So in PAI, I will write the logic leave to screen zero. So leave to screen zero will take me back to the previous stack screen, stack screen. Suppose if I will simply run the program and explain, suppose I'm going for simply running of the program. I'm giving the input. This is the screen. This is the input screen. This is the output screen. Now from this we are calling the screen 100. Now, if from the 100 screen, I want to come back. So I will simply, simply write leave to screen 0. Because leave to screen 0 will take me back to the previous stagged screen. Now, I will simply write the logic in PAI. I will anyways, whenever I will show you in that debugging mode, you will get 100% clarity how stack is there. Now I will double click on to the screen. And now I will write the logic in PAI. So firstly, I will uncomment this PAI module. I will double click and create. Yes, I want to create. I will go for new include. Now here, you can write the logic based upon Psi Upon. It's totally your wish. But anyways, we have a single button. If you have multiple buttons, then definitely you need to write the logic based upon system variable user command, which captures the function code. But at this point of time, we have single, single button. So we can directly write also leave to screen Z. Or if you want to put that if condition, you can put that if condition. If psi u com is equal to cancel. But the function code we gave to the button, cancel. I will go for and if. I'll check the syntax and I will activate up to this level. Now, if you want to change the title bar, suppose if I'm running this particular program, you can see the title bar. As of now, whenever we are navigating from here, we are getting same to same title to display the employee details. Now, what customer is saying, I want some meaningful title here because here I'm able to see the complete feedback. So can you change the title? Yes, we can change the title also. Suppose if I will simply write the logic for title, but it's very easy. If I will go to change mode, we have a statement there set title, but we will simply uncomment. I will go to screen 100. I will double click on to PBO module. Yes, it should also be in PBO because whenever screen will come, title should be there. So I will simply uncomment this title bar statement. Suppose I'm writing title, suppose I will go for EMP only. It's okay, yes. Or we will say feedback. Suppose we'll go for EM. No problem. I will go for OK. 
Yes. Now I will simply give the title. Suppose I will say employee feedback. I will go for OK. Now I will activate. Now I will show you. Now I will give the input. I will click on to this hyperlink. And you can see this also changed and we are able to go backwards. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we created our own GUI status and we have written the logic in PBO because whenever you will click here, you want, you want the button, you want your own GUI status. So we have written the logic in PBO. After that, we have written the logic to create the GUI status in PPO. But whenever you will click on to this button, you know PAI will call. Now, whenever we will click on to the button PAI called, we need to go back to the previous screen. So how we can go back to the previous tag screen? We have a statement leap to screen zero. So I uncommented the PAI module. I have written the statement leave screen zero. Now, after that, I simply, simply created the title bar also. Now, in the next video, we will disable these buttons because you will say, I do not want these button. Now, as of now, if you can see, we can write here also. Anyways, we cannot say, but customer will be confused why I am able to write here. So we will make this also in read-only mode and then we will go for debugging to understand the full output and we will check also why employee ID is not coming and with that debugging only we will find the root cause. So that's it in this video. Thank you.